Hey all, Master X1907 here. Showing you what used to be Malibu Grand Prix, AKA Grand Prix of Tampa. Now this was the parking lot. One of the best parking lots by far, I have to say, huge. This was the adult section, which is now permanently closed for good. Um, it closed about two days ago permanently uh covid happened and they really never improved on this on this complex at all sadly um this what i thought used to be a go-kart go area small go-kart area um no one no one that i stopped by and talked to which was about six or seven cars before uh while i was here in the parking lot drew, uh, deciding what i should do if i could or not um but seven or eight people uh and six cars uh stopped by and was taking pictures and walking around a little bit so i figured if it was cool it was cool you know i've talked to them there's going to be a auction on august 9th about this area uh selling go-karts pool tables and other fun stuff like that in nature um so yeah this right here is the castle where all the kids were going to it was a pretty awesome place it was it was uh it had about five rooms for private parties nothing too exciting going on uh so uh currently this place is going to be torn down after the auction to make room for apartment complexes which of course you know tampa is booming it is growing and stuff like that so unfortunately it's just one of those things that's going to just be you know a thing we're going to have to get past to just like when um when um celebration station in brandon florida closed they became a hotel basically now you can see a great view of 275 from the adult uh, go-kart area, which is right here. You could only have about six people on the course at the same time, no bumping of course, and about 60 miles per hour allowed, um, which is great for people that wanted to be an adult. Uh, this area right here used to not be uh, parking. Uh, it actually was like a little picnic area where you could sit down and eat and enjoy the time period. Uh, I have my car running if anything happens. Uh, so yeah, but I don't think uh, that Ford Ranger over there is for sale and auction on August 9th. Uh, this area right here was the the uh, f uh, softball and the baseball pitching machines, which were awesome for when you were in Little League and in softball and stuff like that. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stand here in the parking lot. I'm not going to go beyond this fence right here or the sidewalk. And hopefully if the sun complies with me a little bit. Um, God. There we go. This area right here was the miniature golf place. Now, this Mentor Golf Place has been here since probably 1984 when they first opened up the area. Um, yeah, come on, son. Work with me. There you go. There's the pirate and stuff like that. This uh, golf course was never re remodified, revamped, or anything like that. It's honestly one of the biggest losses I could think about in Tampa uh, for COVID and stuff like that. They should have remodeled. The two years they were they were closed due to COVID, where no one was able to come in and play and stuff like that. They should have like tore up the carpet, the carpet on the right, on the go kart area or not the go kart area, but the Mentor Golf Place, and like revamp it and like just just do a whole new Mentor Golf Place, and like tell the public like, hey, we remodeled something, you know. That, that's that's just something you should do if you're stuck being closed for two years. 
due to an unexcusable like virus that no one else no one could cure over time you know until we got the vaccination you know which i'm sure a lot of people are still vaccinated or have lied about their vaccination but you know whatever <laughs> that's a whole different subject but um as you can tell i'm going to zoom in a little bit this was the entrance way to the family race uh raceway which you can see how the area right here was um i'm going to go over into the parking lot uh to show you the better example and then i'm going to get a better view of the go-kart area of the adult area i'm going to zoom out real quick now i don't know if i touched about this but this is actually this area right here i thought because you can see how wide this area is i thought this was like a kitty kitty like go-kart area prior but it actually uh when i remembered it uh and the early the the, the early 2000s it was a, a a paintball field i don't know if i went over this already or not but they have trampolines that were here in the late 2000s uh which was pretty awesome but you had to be a certain weight limit, which I did not qualify for, of course. This area right here is where all the troublemakers were at. <laughs> I remember one kid named Jojo. Shout out to you because I don't know where you at and you were one wild freaking kid. Um, he actually got banned from here because of course, when, I hate to categorize, but golf and a problem child, you're going to get banned from places if you loiter and and destroy stuff and i think they even gave him a job one time weirdly enough but yeah i don't know he did a lot of things that made him deserve to be banned so at least what i've been told fully from employees back when i worked at another location and they came in to get parts for their go-karts but this was the go-kart area. Right here was one of the best areas to uh, get enough height in the air. Uh, it's a hill, of course, but it's not that bad of a hill. Uh, funny enough, I actually crashed, and I think I went into this ditch before there was a guardrail, I think. So it was pretty awesome. Back when I was younger, like way younger, probably one of my first times on a go-kart, I think it happened. But um, yeah, it, it loops and it goes around and then it goes around here. So probably the best place for go-karting other than what is now called Grand Prix uh, and Brandon and, and St. Petersburg or Clearwater, Florida, I believe. I wish the sun would work with me, but I'm trying to get as much contact as possible. Um, I have don't know if I touched on about it yet or not it's a bad trade of me I should have remembered um, but there's an auction coming up on August 9th at this location if you see if you if you need to like or want to purchase uh, go-karts or pool tables or that lovely 2004 Ford Ranger <laughs> so oh god this parking lot it's crazy but um yeah it's wild i wouldn't i wouldn't have walked around here honestly if like if like six people didn't show up and start taking pictures and wondered what was going on and when the auction was and stuff like that so i figured okay nobody's here i haven't been told to leave the premises and it's not technically trespassing i don't think i don't know that's whatever i'm not entering any buildings of course because who wants to enter a building that doesn't have ac <laughs> and it just no no so be smart kids don't <clears throat> don't trespass don't try and break into places because of course it's not good and it doesn't look good on your record either 
because that's trespassing in a nutshell so all right so now we're coming up to the glorious sun right here unfortunately which i'm going to pan off to the left about uh it's about seven o'clock in the afternoon so the sun is going down soon hopefully and i wish i could get better content but you know it's whatever i'm going to just get going and film this as much as possible so okay so what i'm going to do is going to pan that sun out a little bit and i'm going to show you what the adult go-kart go area was as you can tell it's a lot larger and this is a better angle of it you could actually see everybody riding off riding the go-karts from 275 which was awesome because it's like dang i'm jealous that i'm not go-karting right now when everybody else was on this go-kart area so i kind of wish like some big corporation would have actually bought this place revamped it got a different go-kart not go-kart but a different miniature golf section set up for everybody and just better better honestly better advertisement and you just had better advertisement and an owner that actually like look at this you see this area right here that's been like that for at least five years no money was put into this this building Literally no money. Like, it, it's, it's a crying shame. I don't know who the original owners were of this complex, but if you don't have advertisement and you don't want to improve on your building or your, or your other awesome features like getting new softball or our baseball machines or making a new mentor golf area you are going to close i hate to say it. you're going close permanently like this place is unfortunately and like that's the way the cookie crumbles oh there we go we can actually see inside for a few seconds there you go of course there's padlocks and everything but yeah, you see, this was the adult area. Right here was the food area, of course. But a while, for a while, there was only like four pool tables and a bunch of video games inside. And that was it, basically, for the adults. Like there was Tekken, there was Mortal Kombat. Uh, I think Mortal Kombat 7? Or was it eight? I think it was seven or eight that was around at the time. But like Tekken eight was, I think Tekken eight was the, was the, was the LED uh, fighting game there. They had Mario Kart uh, arcade. They had a lot of fun arcade games over the years. But like, yeah just crazy how Grand Prix of Tampa aka Malibu never really got out of the shadow of the 90s even got out of the shadow of the early 2000s it's just quite sad in a nutshell but what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the auction uh, and the uh in the description down below after i upload it um because i can't i don't think i can well maybe i can um what i'll try to do is i'll try and um uh flip screens over to the auctions website to give you guys details on the actual auction itself which is august 9th uh showing for previews is the 7th and the 8th i think so but 
yeah. Of course, I just give you guys a heads up. Do not break an answer. <laughs> Do not jump any fences. Just observe and just reminisce. It's been Master X 1907 here, signing off. Have a great day, guys. Peace.